What's cracking, people? It's your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman, representing high-level technicians operating globally and beyond. So listen, today I wanted to address a question that probably should have happened uh, a while ago, but there's no better time than the present. And that's basically the question of what is the technician's end game? So first of all, let me break down a few things here because the term technician is a, uh, a symbolic term that I uh, coined and basically it is a combination of a couple aspects that are already out there. Okay, the ASP is something that I put out there as well, which is the um, uh, alpha show piece. And what an alpha show piece is, I'll leave the, a, a link to a, a, a larger description in the uh, link below. But an ASP or uh, alpha show piece is a man who has attained a level of physical presence. He has <clears throat> uh, a pre presentation that has a combination of his natural genetic stock and a presentable frame that is the result of years of hard work hitting the gym um, weight control monitoring we may have had some um, professional coaching sessions with a choreography uh, coach uh, he knows how to control his body you know shoulders back uh, he has basically created a signature look for himself and so basically whether uh, the person's endomorphic ectomorphic or mesomorphic uh, this is a presentation of their optimal presence and it does not come easy uh, for the majority of, of uh, ASPs it does not come easy it's the result of discipline dedication and determination to optimize their physical presentation now a select man, in my opinion, and I think it, which is the general consensus of this particular space, a select man can be um, described as uh, sexually, socially, vocationally. When I say uh, vocationally, I mean whatever your productive pursuit is, right? Whether it be entrepreneurial or career wise, whatever it is, and I, I like to use the word vocational because. These are skills um, that are transferable. When, when, I, when I say the word vocation, I mean what skills have you learned and or mastered that are transferable and can um, be used to generate income and can be leveraged into value um, across many spaces. That's so, so that's what I mean when I say vocational. So a select man, in my opinion, is socially, sexually, and vocationally superior and is per, uh, preferred um, by a general consensus of women. So you combine those two features, the uh, alpha show piece and the select man, and you get what I refer to as a technician. And basically a technician is a high level operative who is capable of uh, running shit basically up there with the masters of the universe uh, has the flexibility um, and the savviness and the wisdom but also the pragmatism of uh, a perpetual student a technician is wise enough and understandable or understanding enough and patient enough to know when he's in the presence of a master and at that point in that moment He'll be quiet and sit down and listen and take notes um, and not get too ahead of himself because he knows that when he's in the presence of wisdom and a master, uh, he always has something to learn new, something to add to his skill set all the way up until the day that he passes. So that's just a brief breakdown in the description of what a technician is. So I felt that I needed a background so that I can explain what the technician uh, or the technician's end game is. And I think it should go without saying that all of these descriptions are shades of alpha. These are alpha men. You cannot be a beta and possess um, uh, these elements. 
especially in the modern uh, world. So having said that, I guess you can also qualify this video as my version of what the alpha in-game is. So basically, um, society currently points to marriage and having children as the standard in-game for a reasonable man. There's nothing wrong with that. And uh, I'd like to think that most guys uh, who uh, follow that model can take what they can from these videos in, in this space, what I call the select manosphere or the alpha manosphere, take what he can use to um, you know, build a productive and healthy relationship uh, with the woman, if that's his choice. However, modern select alpha men see things differently. And I'm going to um, refer to different podcasts because when, when, I, when I speak about what uh, the different levels of alpha are or the different levels of a technician are, it could take hours to break that stuff down. But let me just give you this one statement. This is the team technician statement, okay? And I probably won't share this on the YouTube side um, ever again beyond this podcast, okay? This is the team technician state. Technicians start with vision. So basically alpha men. Alpha men start with a vision. That vision becomes a creation. That creation forms structures. All right. Let me pause it right there. What does that mean? Every man who is allowed to express himself and to, to develop naturally in a um, conducive, healthy environment will naturally d discover that he wants to do something, he wants to leave his mark. That's a vision. And if he's given the tools and he's given the resources to uh, start to put that vision together, that becomes creations. That, that's where you get these theories. That's where you get uh, beautiful uh, music. This is where you get complex art. This is where uh, uh, inventions come into space. Now these creations form structures. What are structures? Structures are the uh, buildings, are the plants, the factories that house and mass produce and um, uh, supply the, the, the space for the creation, right? So we got vision, we got creation, we got structures. Beyond that, those structures grow into systems. Now, I've got multiple videos uh, coming down the pipe or podcasts uh, coming down the pipe that dis discuss what a system is and how important a system is to alpha men, to select men, um, and to technicians. Those systems evolve into institutions. Now, what are institutions? Institutions are banks. Institutions are universities. Institutions are family trusts. These are things that get passed down. These are where the legacy and wealth are transferred uh, transfer generationally, right? And they're also structures that keep communities together. An institution is something that a culture can be um, solidified around. Those institutions crystallize into paradigms. Now, the fact that I mentioned culture should give a hint as to what um, a crystallized paradigm is. I'll give you two examples and this should, um, should, should exemplify this for you. Jazz, okay, it was an institution that became a paradigm. And hip hop, that's another institution that became a paradigm. Now, where they evolved or de-evolved to, that's another conversation uh, that can be had in different spaces. I, I feel passionately about both of those things, yeah, but I won't discuss those here. But I just wanted to give you two examples of institutions that crystallized into paradigms. And here is ultimately the end game for technician, select man, ASP, however you want to say it. Institutions that crystallize into paradigms that ultimately establish worlds. Okay, I'll say that one more time. The ultimate end game for technician, select man, or ASP 
is to form an institution that crystallizes into a paradigm that ultimately establishes worlds. That is head and shoulders above and beyond any and everything that 98% of content producers of uh, societies of, of, of the world thinks and views about what um, uh, the modern man should be doing. Modern men are uh, developed into uh, cogs in uh, the greater machine. They're developed to be parts of a system instead of producers of systems. And so what I hope to bring to this space is the mentality of the higher level of what it means to be a masculine master. And don't worry, I, I never leave out the women's role because women are so important, right? The, the fact that my, I myself and uh, men like me can say that we truly love women because we understand who we are um, speaks to their role in how we uh, create the, the ultimate muse, right? The feminine energy that inspires the masculine mastery, the, that inspires uh, a real man to produce, to go conquer environments, right? But in this space, when we talk about truly, se truly select men and technicians, we use feminine energy to manifest vision. Of course, that's another video in and of itself, but I just want to leave you with that aspect. So that's the, that's basically the 360. Just to answer that question, what is the technician's end, end game? What is an ASP's end game? What is a truly select man's end game? It's to build a world. For more information about that, head over to the Patreon side. But until next time, this is your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman, saying stay sharp and mission focused. Later.